One possible explanation for Mary's intense animosity towards George on the Big Bang Theory could be George's last young Sheldon arc, with the prequel winding down to its last act. Sheldon's dad's time is running out as well. By watching George's demise before the family comedy slash drama formally concludes, young Sheldon is being faithful to the established canon. The creators of the show have been tight-lipped about George's death, although it has been announced that the penultimate episode of young Sheldon would focus on his funeral, so he will likely die before then. Both George's affair and his demise are major story points from the Big Bang Theory that fans have been hoping would be resolved in the prequel. The fall of the Cooper patriarch is becoming more tragic as young Sheldon formally retconning George's infidelity story. This spin-off has done a wonderful job of redeeming the character of the father, who was portrayed negatively in the nerd-centric sitcom. Having been too harsh on his dad is something that even Jim Parsons' grown-up son, Sheldon, has acknowledged. The only unanswered question regarding George's legacy that remains is Mary's attitude towards her late spouse in the Big Bang Theory. In a little snip in Teaching Old Dogs, the 12th episode of Young Sheldon's seventh season, George has a vasectomy done in secret, even from his wife. As a result of Georgie and Mandy moving in with the McAllisters and Sheldon getting ready to go graduate school at Caltech in Pasadena, California, Mary gets pregnant again. To try to solve this problem, she suggests that she and George start a family again. The father of the Cooper family sneaks out to undergo the surgery, despite his knowledge that it's a terrible idea, because he is too scared to tell her no. She may have carried that resentment into adulthood, which would explain her unwarranted outbursts at George in the Big Bang Theory. In Young Sheldon, Episode 12. Mary's buttonness of her husband George's treachery is reasonable given her pre-existing anxieties of being alone and his untimely death. The changes occurring in Sheldon's family are already met with resistance from his mother. It is easy to understand how Mary could misunderstand her sorrow and blame George for his infertility because she felt so alone after his death. Perhaps her unwarranted outbursts at George in the Big Bang Theory stem from the fact that she carried that resentment with her into adulthood. After George passes away, very little is known of the Cooper family's subsequent events. Since none of the surviving family members will be regulars on the show, CBS was unable to adequately address the matter even with the impending spin-off featuring Georgie and Mandy from Young Sheldon, called Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage. After his father passed away, adult Georgie took charge of the family business because Mary was too distraught to work. This was shown in his debut on The Big Bang Theory. It was unusual for Mary to completely crumble after losing George given her religion and her troubled marriage. Not to mention the predicament of Connie following her arrest for operating an illicit gambling facility. She still had Missy to attend to. She couldn't possibly abandon them. That much was certain. Nevertheless, her anxieties of being by herself in young Sheldon